how this is all about what you guys want the situation your heart's desire and it's from an ace of cups whatever your heart's desire was before or whatever this new beginning was in the beginning it's, it's now about the cultivation of, of of happiness what it is that you truly want what it is that you're actually after now there could be you know there could be situations where there is you know trying to find what truly makes you happy yourself not necessarily trying to find new love maybe there is this new love opportunity here that you're trying to you know that you're trying to i mean obviously feel good about personally and i think it's really talking this nine of cups really is talking about self not, not self-fulfillment you know what i mean what really makes you happy what really gets you pumped up but also being content so with all that being said we're going to get a better understanding of why the nine of cups is coming up as your underlying energy or what this necessarily is trying to tell us about your heart's desire about what it is that you want your, your wish is now the heart of your reading is the seven of pentacles so i feel like there has been a lot going on probably in your world a lot of building a lot of growing a lot of putting in a lot of effort but the thing here is is like how i always see the seven of pentacles is that there is this feeling that there's a lot that you're doing but not necessarily it feels like it doesn't feel like it's getting anywhere i feel like at the same time it's like it has obviously the showing of the the crop growing and pentacles are starting to blossom from it but it doesn't mean that you're exactly satisfied with where you are I'm not saying that you're dissatisfied but you're not quite at the peak of where you want to be so hmm, very interesting here seven of pentacles I feel like for some of you guys as well, you've been waiting a long time for something to turn out. But I feel like you've been met with roadblock after roadblock. Work to do, work to do, work to do. Things always kind of could be better, right? And I feel like that's where the Four of Wands is coming up. It's crossing. It's because right now in your life, I feel like you, 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 you know, you, you may be kind of, you know, feeling whether or not it's worth pursuing a relationship or worth pursuing something that you know can actually expand or to at least get to a higher place of, of, of some sort of commitment or stability of some sort like i think what you guys want is is it's now being is now under question due to the, the effort that you may have had to put into the last time you got involved with somebody no, not like a bad thing or anything like that, but it's just like, it, it becomes like, it, it can be kind of deterring, like a kind of like disheartening when you're constantly putting in effort and you're like, wow, we're still here. We're still at ground one. We're still at, we're still trying to bust, bust out and do stuff. Like what, why are we still fighting this? Like, why is it that it's so much work to get to a certain area? To just get to the four of wands. But the thing is, is that the seven of pentacles Pentacles, period, it takes time. It took some time to get here. And I understand your patience feeling like it's running on empty. It's 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 actually really questioning the reserves of your efforts and your diligence and your willingness to kind of keep pushing forward. Which is fair enough. But it doesn't mean that you will get here. And I feel like at the same time, the Seven of Pentacles can be flipped on its head and like figuring out what needs to be done further. What can you do now? What can be what can be done in the moment? There's a there's a lot of where you want to be rather than where you are at now and what it takes to get there. There, but at the same time, again, like I was saying, this is definitely causing a lot of, you know, it's making this making your heart's desire a lot harder to commit to, to say the very least. Now, the passion of the five, excuse me, the nine of swords. So you feel stressed out. It's not sleeping very well you know you know you know you're just not feeling it and as some of you guys are just really really stressed out and you know really pushing yourself and you're just not getting the rest that you need at the same time you guys are just you know feeling you know just doubtful most importantly it's keeping you up at night that's for sure and or has been and i feel like you've overcome this phase of doubt though okay because this is the foundation what's coming from what this whole relate whole reading is founded on is this seed of doubt once the seed of doubt is planted that weed can spread in any in any area 
is about eliminating what's doubt and in, in facing the facts, say facing the the serious, you know, the 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 stuff that's ahead of you, right? And I feel like you have in some aspects here, because here this doubt, perhaps even of the self, has been overruled, it has been taken over by the Queen of Wands. This could be that you feel yourself as Queen of Wands energy, you know, confident in your ability to do things, to execute, you know, someone full of action, full of drive and and just just pouring of passion and creativity, the willingness to fight for what it is that you want to to do the best that you can and any at everything, especially within this relationship. Some of you guys you may be in a relationship with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You may be identifying you may be you know, this person may be in your life. Fierce. Willing to fight for what they want. Determined to keep to to do with the things that they want to do. That could be the situation here. But I do get this feeling though that you have overcome something, some sort of doubt, and now you feel more confident than ever. But it's not necessarily about confidence that's necessarily the problem, it's about whether or not you want to do that. Maybe with this individual, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I feel like you recommit yourself here with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you do not necessarily go back to work, but you go and hash out the craziness that comes about. because. You remember how much it's, you know, you've overcome within the current relationship or the current situation. You know, with this passion and this energy that you feel, you know what you want. And perhaps the thing that you very, that you want is this, you know, this relationship. So what does it matter how long it's going to take to get you to this four of wands? How long does it matter? What does it matter? How long it will take you to be happy or satisfied? right to be necessarily satisfied with the situation itself but you know in order for you to manifest what you want you have to be content about where you are and you know what as a matter of fact y'all like i was just talking about this with with aries he knows he's abundant he knows he's great he don't have to look at it he doesn't let the vision or the physical aspects keep him from enjoying his life, enjoying his happiness, enjoying the, the fact that he knows what he knows and he's, you know, it's good enough. Cause he can't, you can't physically hold an emotion, right? I don't, emotions are fluid. Emotions are within, you know, the self, you can't see those. They can be expressed like the queen of wands. She's an expression of that, of that emotion, but you can feel the whole world. You can feel deep sadness and not show a thing. There's physical representations of how you feel, sad, happiness, you know, expressions of the face. Even that, like I said, is for four, it's expression. But that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it's physically there. It just means that you know what you want and you know what makes you happy. And it's about being content about where you are. It's about being happy with what you know that you want and doing what you know you need to do or do what you just, you know, do the best that you can with what you got to get there. Especially if you already know that this is, you know, this is the path. There's no right or wrong direction. And it can feel like, yeah, if there's been a lot of work put into a relationship that hasn't necessarily gotten to the place that you may necessarily desire it to, it can feel like you're not headed in the right direction, but I don't think you're headed in the wrong direction with this. It's about being in the moment that's more important than where you're going. But I can see why you can kind of question it if the direction of the relationship is not going in the direction that you intended to, which I don't necessarily think is the case because this person is a gardener, is a farmer. He wants this to grow into some sort of bush so he can harvest. So I don't think that he's dissatisfied with the fact that his bush is starting to bloom, but it's more of what is he going to do after this? And like, whether that's the work he really wants to dedicate his, his next coming projects to, but which he does, he moves on to the eight of pentacles and he does bust his behind and creates the greatest things that he can create, possibly create, or just, you know, put his focus on the, on the task at hand making real progress even if it does take a little bit longer but while this time of waiting while this time of growth while this time of really you know not necessarily necessarily fast progress but progress in itself 
focus on what it is that you have right now in the moment and that will help you manifest the things that you want the relationship that you desire the place where you can feel like ah finally i'm in a more committed relationship or finally i'm in a situation now where i can expand if this was a business reading i could tell you straight up you won't move anywhere if you always focus on what you would rather have more of you can't move like that it's hard as hell i'm sure it's possible but if you're always looking for the want you're always going to have the want you're always going to find the one the want's going to always be there but if you always focus on the present and be content that you'll have what you get and build what you need to to get what you want in the first place you won't be manifesting the want you'll be manifesting where you are well you'll be manifesting the work that you'll be doing by the time that you get the thing that you want but at the same time right in a way, you will always kind of be where you are if you focus on the moment and not, you know, think about and not feel that you're in where you already have what you want. You have to know that you have what you want already, even if you may not have it. It's crazy. It's not lying to yourself because think about it, right? If you want to be in a relationship, you're, you are lucky as sin right now because guess what? You have a beautiful and healthy relationship with yourself. If you believe that you are in a healthy relationship with the self, that same thing will come to you. It's very interesting how that works out. And it's a law of attraction and it's weird. But trust me, none of the things that anybody says, like especially when, when I don't know if you've ever heard other readers say, but you have to like, you know, that you have to, you know, know that what you want is what you have in, in the present now. It's not lying to yourself because you make, because you do, you can have a beautiful relationship with yourself. Think about all the progress that you've made with getting to know yourself, doing the things that you can, having arguments and conflicts with yourself. Those are really, that's a relationship right there, but you've always overcome it. You've gotten stronger from it. It's finding what truly makes you happy. Well, it's really, it was, it was really about finding the content about where you are based off of what you desire. Cause you can, cause if you want something, then you have it. It's finding that variation of that thing that you have in yourself that w that will bring you what you want. Now, your your uh, goal and ambition, you have the three of pentacles. So this is planning for the future. You take a whole five steps back. You go from seven to eight to back to three. Now technically it's not five because i'm just using this based off of the eight um but you go back four and what is the four of pentacles you're holding on to something you're it's like holding on not opening up going back within the foundation but there's also five as well if you're going to count that eight of wands because then the and the five of pentacles is taking a risk and doing something that's uncomfortable and I feel like with that step back, you're kind of reconsidering what your foundation may look like and replanning and take in, you know, seeing the potential of something, making plans for the future with what the knowledge about with the knowledge that, you know, the knowledge that you got. And there's also talk about planning for the future with some people. So who knows, you may be able to, you may be planning something with some individuals around you, but it means, doesn't mean that the really, that this, this, these plans won't happen or the, the, the goal for these plans may not happen. There may be some, you know, things where there's some hiccups and some things that come about plans that are never, ever solid or concrete, but they allow us to create a structure to be able to at least kind of follow along to get to a certain goal strategize in the best way we can so i feel like yeah you want you want to make plans that you feel are lucrative that feel like actually can come about and they can it just all depends on what you believe and what you feel now in your external energy you have the fool coming up which is um yeah, I read this with the present. So the fool talks about a new beginning, taking a leap of faith. So it's interesting that I was thinking the five of pentacles, because in a way you take a leap of faith or you really put out yourself out in the cold, but you, you know, you do it while you're vulnerable and you're not necessarily feeling it too much. But I feel like with the fool, you are starting a new beginning and you're excited about it. 
you will have every reason to be excited about it. But more so, it's taking a leap of faith than anything. The Queen of Wands would ex would be the person I would go through like, hey, are you excited about it? I feel like you're more confident in yourself now to take on a new adventure better, well, more than ever. Right? And I feel like right now, yeah, there is a new beginning that's on the horizon. But your outcome is showing that there is no determined outcome. There's no determined anything. There's no, there's no definite de destination. Because right now, you're not in a very stable place right now regarding what you want. That's not a problem. That's not bad, though. Right? When I say that, please don't think that I'm judging you or saying that you should commit. Because if you don't feel it, you don't feel it. I definitely don't want you to go after things that you don't want. But it makes sense. If the relationship is going in a direction that doesn't really, that is no longer leading to the place that you're wanting to get to, then, you know, then I understand wanting to start a new beginning, feeling confident to start a new and go after what it is that you really do want. But if it's just going to take a little bit longer and it's not going to, you know, or take, take longer then you think again, right? If that's not what you want to do, if you don't want to wait any further, then you don't have to. But what you want will come if you believe you have it. You can't manifest. You cannot manifest from want. Because you end up want manifesting the, the desire to want. I want this. Okay. But focus on what you can do at the moment. Focus on what the work that needs to be done. That's why the Eight of Pentacles comes up. Because you know that you have the things that you want already in yourself. And it can be hard to do, but trust me, it can happen. Even with relationships. If you're in love with the self, love will find you. Other love outside of you will love you, will find you. But then at the same time, you'll be finding, figuring out whether, trying to figure out whether or not do you want that very thing anymore because you already got it. So let's take a look at your wisdom of the oracle here and see what's going on this week. And the moon coming up here is talking about as well, like t tackling your fears, discomforts, um, going and trusting your intuition. There's no, there's hardly anything that you can see when the moon comes up. The only light that you got is the full moon there. But even then, it ha it's, it's, it creates shadows. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you, sh you know, the, the, you know, this is a warning or anything like that. But it's more so of like saying, trust your inner self, trust your guidance system, and don't let, don't let the illusions around you fool you. Orphaned. Ooh, that's a difficult card. You got building blocks underneath the wisdom of the oracle as well. Building box is talking about the Eight of Pentacles or creating a foundation. All, to, all in all, let's take a look at your Romance Angels. What do you guys got for this week with the Romance Angels? Don't worry, I'm gonna explain all the cards here. Just want to pull them all. Reconciliation. Oh my gosh. Ooh, religious factors as well as underneath here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Very interesting. All right, let's take a look at the oracle cards that you guys got. Y'all have the first card here that I pulled here was orphan. It's not. It's feeling like you don't belong. Feeling like you don't. You're not in a situation where you're accepted or you can feel like your true essence is. It resonates. And that's the thing, right? What do you What do you want? Is, is a really is really like a question of tapping into the self, tapping into your true essence and your true emotions, and your true feelings. And again, like if you feel like this doesn't belong to you, then it maybe doesn't. If you don't feel like you don't belong, then maybe it doesn't. But that doesn't mean that you won't ever find what truly, what truly doesn't make you happy. And I feel like that's what you believe more than ever nowadays with this Queen of Wands and the Fool. Like, you know that if this isn't for you, then you will know that you'll be able to find it by being authentic to yourself, being true to yourself. The Queen of Wands is raw energy, purest of all. And she's going to be telling you and laying it out with, laying it out for you straight up in the narrow. She was going to be honest with you about it. She's going to be her honest and true, raw, authentic self. And that's the thing. You will bring in 
who you want in your life, who what you want in your life by being true to yourself at all times, being honest and open and showing your true nature. That may also bring up the question whether it also may bring up the seven of pentacles where you may be sh maybe maybe there's a situation where you're show uh, showing that maybe you're not sure if you want this anymore because it doesn't look like it's anything that you wanted. Like I was saying before, maybe it's like maybe the situation at hand is like it's showing its true colors because you're showing your true colors and it may not be exactly what you desire. Perhaps you know what you want is what you're fight working on, but maybe the work that you're get you're doing isn't really like I said before, isn't leading to that. Or it's showing you where your true home is and it's not where it is. Or maybe it is. Like it or it just takes more time. Either way, your true authentic self will bring you to their to your people, to to a place where you feel you truly belong. It will bring it to you. It will remove the place the things that don't. It'll bring the things that do in. Now you got reconciliation coming up. And this is says this says here someone from your past is returning to your life. Very interesting. I didn't get any sort of reconciliation cards in this reading other than this one. Now you could be interacting with someone that's an ex. Okay, this talks about somebody coming back from the past. Then you could be reconnecting from somebody from the past altogether. You know what I'm saying? Probably the you know, the goal and ambition is the three of three pentacles because it's going all the way back four steps so maybe you do go back to the past to create something with somebody or try to you know you know see the potential of someone at all but i feel like there's no one around you you know if there's no one around you then this could talk about that someone could be coming in or that there's a situation that's coming that's come about like a real, like a wheel of fortune situation in your life that's going to give you an opportunity to do something differently, but with the perspective from the situ, from the cycle before to go ahead and experience it or or um, go through it a different way. <clears throat> Almost joke there. Very interesting cards that you get for your wisdom for for your reading altogether. But hmm. We will see what you guys decide in the future, or at least what you guys see this, what you guys decide, period. If this is for you, if it isn't, you know, you know, whatever. You have the confidence of there now more than ever that tells me that you're not going anywhere. You're not going to not, you're not going to settle. You're going to, you're going to do the best that you can with what you have. And if it ain't for you, you're going to be true to you. And that's the best that you can do. And just start, you know, finding out what, where to go, making plans to actually make that place for it. And you know what? There's no breakup cards here either. If this is not the direction you want to go, perhaps you just go take a couple steps back and you communicate with the person that you're dating, the person that you, you know, your partner, and figure out where you're wanting to go. 